welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance. And that is a Hummel, the tier 6 German SPG. And we're on the south spawn of Steps Encounter. And this Hummel is being driven by Ratty87. crossing behind, that's probably the best thing to do. Yes, because he's off to the east, whilst Ratty's going off into the other corner. Now, we can see from this uh, Hummel that it's actually got the top line. This is a 15 centimetre gun, but it's different from the uh, stock gun, which is actually the same gun as the Grilla. And the reason is that uh, this is a longer barrel, so it fires, fires faster, and it's got a flatter trajectory of it. Got a gun. Uh, that also means that sometimes rocks can obstruct it, but uh, it's still a very effective gun. And of course, the uh, top gun has got a longer range than the stock gun. Uh, Rat has extended his aim, and there's a 12T coming directly towards him, and he gets a lovely strike into it there 180 hit points, three critical hits. And I suspect that 12 ton is. Very unhappy, he's, he's just cancelled his stun. Um, I suspect he's after Ratty now because he knows where Ratty is. He received a shot from him. Probably coming over here to kill him. Yes, he is. There he is. Ouch. That's a big hit. And another big hit. But the 12 ton has been taken out by the uh, T3485 on uh, Ratty's team. So that's a major help. Now Ratty needs to reposition himself because the enemy artist will know where he is until he goes, goes outside it. Okay, Brett is going to fire on the tanks in the west. T-34-85 and a Primo Victoria. Well, he gets a lovely strike there. He actually hits both tanks. Most of it goes on to the Premier Victoria, 190 hit points on that, 68 on the T-34. He's aiming for the T-29, still loading. Rounds out. A lovely direct hit there, 241 hit points. Fairly good rate of fire, it's uh, 2.27 rounds per minute. Not quite the same sort of fire rate you get from the M44 though, so it can be a bit of an inconvenience having to wait so long to fire, but these are going for that 24 as uh, the Prima Victoria is taken out. Oh, and that's a lovely strike right on the rear of that T34, hit the engine bay, and he got. Uh, that's 100, 303 hit points, and then he picked up some stun assist after that as well. Okay, Strip Spawn 74. It's almost loaded. Oh, and that Wizzy 132 is being a nuisance. Luckily, there's a 1357 just a little way around. Okay, that's Strip Spawn. Oh, didn't back up. It looked like it was going to back up a bit more, so he only got a chunk out of him. 31 hit points. There's a Hellcat up near the camp. He's blocking the approach of the T29. I think they are exchanging rounds. He's lost sight of the Hellcat temporarily. There it is. Okay, he's indicating his target. Telling T29 what he's doing. Rounds out. Oh, RNG made the shot land. Overshoot it. It landed behind the Hellcat, but it did stun the Hellcat. Now 
Uh, we've lost sight of it temporarily. T29 is moving up a little closer. There's the Hellcat. It's been spotted. He's, he's just gone up the, the ridge a little. Can you put a shot into him? It fires. No, it overshoots, but it still stuns the Hellcat. The problem with the Hummer is that the, to say the, it's a flat trajectory gun, which means you can overshoot your target. Sometimes in aiming at it, there's an ISU-152 off to the west. Unfortunately, the ISU just took out the batch at 12 ton. He's dialing in on the 152. He's indicating his target. Hopefully, the 1357 will get the message and back off. He is backing off. Oh, but he moves forward again. Ooh, and the, that round stuns the 1357. Hopefully, it didn't do any damage because otherwise, then uh, Ratty might get fined. And it looks like the, 30, the 152 was backing into the 1357, but the 1357 finally did manage to get the kill. Okay, there's two enemy RT, a Hummel and a Lorraine, and the Oni is the only heavy they've got. On Ratty's team, he's got a T29 and an AMX 1357. No tracer from the enemy RT spotted, but then like, the enemy RT probably can't see anything at the moment. But 1357 is headed north, going up the gully. He might spot the enemy RT very shortly. But he's just changed his aim temporarily to look for the Oni. He ought to change it back to the north again. I think that 1357 is going to discover the enemy RT very, very, very shortly. Yes, he has changed his aim. That's good. Okay, where are they? There's one. Okay, it's the Lorraine 15550. And there's the Hummel. We spotted both of them. Rounds out. Oh, and it's a lovely kill. But it's, he only got 80 hit points, but he did get the kill. Okay, the Hummel's been seen. Now, can he get a shot into it? He's indicating his target. Let's the 1357 know who he's going for. He's lost sight of it, but it's more than likely still there. I doubt if that Hummel will move. 1357's coming around to try and spot him. Rounds out. Oh, the Hummel! Oh, and he kills the Hummel! 108, but the Hummel just killed the 1357 just before he died. So Ratty has killed both of the enemy RT. That means he will get a counter battery medal. He's guaranteed that now, but the Oni's been spotted. Yes, there he is. And unfortunately, it's obstructed. We're going to have to move. Have to relocate in order to shoot him. The T29 hasn't got much in the way of hit points, but the, the, the Oni has got virtually all of his hit points still remaining. Oh, and that round falls short. And the T29 puts one round into the Oni. But that T29 won't last very long if the Oni keeps shooting at him. He gets another round in. He's trying to get behind the Oni to protect himself from that big gun. Ratty's indicating his target again. He gets another round into the Oni. He's 501 hit points. He's one third of his health. Now, Ratty, can you put a round into him? Oh no! It overshoots! I think Ratty thought he was going to back up, but he didn't, and the T29 has been killed. That leaves the only, and Ratty is the only two remaining members of their teams. Now Ratty's headed north. I'm presuming that what he's going to do, tactically speaking, would be to go up to the position at say A8 without actually um, going through the cap. You know, I think he's firing. I don't know why he fired that shot. I mean, the only was unspotted. There was no way he was going to hit it. And I think it was the last known position was actually behind where he was firing. I don't understand why he fired that one. He's only got five rounds left, actually, as well. That's the important thing to consider. Now, the best thing to do is head up to A8 without going through the enemy cap. 
and that would reveal his position, but the enemy's got to guess that he's going to be headed towards the cap. But obviously Ratty can't cap on his own because the owner will just drive up and shoot him. What he needs to do is he needs to get the O.E. to cap and then hit it whilst it's in the cap, either by getting closer to him, to sp close enough to spot him. The unfortunate thing is the Hummel has only got a view range of 265 metres, so it's very short. By comparison, the view range of the Oni is 380 meters. Now Matty probably does have the advantage in that he's got a camo net and he's probably got a full skilled camo crew. But it's more than likely the Onis can spot him before he spots the Oni. So he needs to pick a, a spot whereby he can hit the Oni in a surprise attack. And there's no point in looking any further than your view range, which is at this moment, he's probably just at the maximum view range towards the cap. And we know the only is in the cap because he is capping. So Ratty can fire into the cap. And he has. And the cap stopped. Now I don't think the cap stopped because he fired that round in. I think the cap stopped because the Oni came out of the cap. Because if he fired in and hit the Oni, the cap would have reset and then started again. The fact that it just stopped suddenly indicates the Oni came out of the cap. And this is good tactics actually, to circle around to the south. If the Oni goes back to the cap, you can approach the cap from the south and try to shotgun the Oni. It looks like Ratty is going to hold up at this uh, centre rock and wait for the Oni to go into the cap. Remember the view range, 225 metres. Very short. There's the Oni, he's been spotted. And he's coming directly to water at him. And he's coming from the north, which means obviously he's going forward. And Ratty gets a lovely shot turned in there. And the Oni misses with his return shot. Now this gives Ratty some time to reload. He can use the rock as a barrier to shield himself from the Oni's gun. The Oni's reloading himself at this moment. They've got a very, he's got a, a slow reload. So he's now reloaded. He can shotgun the Oni again. And the Oni is a one shot. He can get him. If he's lucky, he can get him in one shot. He needs that Oni to put himself forward. And he does. Oh, it's only 27. It's a low roll. It's a very low roll. Oh, that's terrible. That means he's going to have to do it again. He's going to have to have another shot. Another attempt. And that only is aware that he's got the advantage. So long as they're on a down slope, he can move faster. Oh, he went over the rock now. Oh, and he's been shot through the gap. As he went over the roll, he raised his RT up a little bit more. And the Oni was able to shoot through the gap and kill him. Oh, that's such a pity. He was doing so well right there against at the end. Oh, let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And we can see it's a third class tank of Ferrati 87 in the Hummel. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, career capacitations or module damage. In actual fact, he got 18 critical hits in total. And of course, he picked up the counter battery medal for killing both the uh, Hummel and the Lorraine 15550. So well done on those two. If we have a look at the team score, he came third when it came to damage with 1,613 hit points. And he came joint third with two kills. And he came 
third when it came to base XP of 623. He fired 16 rounds, got 5 direct hits, 5 penetrations, caused 11 splash damage, 1,613 hit points, of which 1,066 were at more than 300 meters. He received 3 hits, one from the, 2 from the uh, 12 ton and 1 from the Oni, and they all penetrated. He damaged the 1357 for 66 hit points. He damaged eight of the enemy and killed two of them. He did uh, damage assistance of 33 hit points and he did stun assistance of 1029 and caused 13 stuns. On a premium account, he earned 43,610 credits, but he did lose uh, some credits due to the fine on the 1357. So he took away, uh, he had. 42,789 and after repair and ammunition resupply he took away 22,897 credits. He earned uh, XP on a premium account of 935 experience points and as there was no multipliers that's all he took away. So well, well done Ratty. It was a good try. I did think you were going to do it but unfortunately it was not to be. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay please do get a look do give a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully I will be seeing you in the next replay.